high calculus one students. So in this video, uh, I'm going to present um, infinite limits and vertical asymptotes. So we're going to define what's a vertical asymptote. And we're also going to, well, actually, first, I'm just going to define vertical asymptote. Okay, I think it's enough for a video. And we'll do more specific example and the method in the next video. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to compare two functions. Okay, so um, I want to compare the function f of x that is equal to 1 over x squared. We have already seen that function. And I want to also see another function, which is g of x is equal to 1 over x. Both functions are easy to draw. Uh, the function f of x, we've already drawn it. So it pretty much looks like this. And then we have like this as well. And remember what we said is that the limit as x is approaching 0 of f of x is infinity because in both sides um, as x is approaching 0, either from above or from below, the function blows up, okay? So in this case, even if the two one-sided limits do not exist, they at least agree in behavior. That's not the same thing for this g of x that's equal to 1 over x. Let's sketch this function. I think you know it quite well, so just a basic graph should do. So 1 over x looks like this. So like this and like that. Okay, so let's study the one-sided limits of this graph. So let's begin with the, uh, with this, with the from below, right? The limit from below. So we're doing one-sided limit, like what I presented in the last video, okay? So as we approach zero from below, as you can see, the function is sinking without bounds. Okay, so let's actually write that. So uh, as x approaches 0 from below, uh, f, uh, g of x, this is g of x, g of x uh, decrease without bound. Okay. And uh, we haven't seen this limit yet, but it's basically the opposite behavior uh, of this. So we say that the limit as x is approaching 0 from below of g of x is equal to negative infinity. Okay. Now, as you try to approach 0 from above, okay, so now you look at the curve. And then you just like, that's it. You just follow this curve and you, and, and that's what you get. So you see that uh, y is growing without bound. And this is the same behavior as f, but it's followed only from that one side. So we can say that the limit as x is approaching 0 from above of g of x is equal to positive infinity. So in this case, it's a little bit worse this case than that case, because as you can see, uh, both one-sided limits are infinite, but they do not correspond. So if you were to tell me what was the limit for this problem, you would have to say that the limit uh, as x is approaching 0 of g of x does not exist. So in other words, uh, you cannot even say that it's infinity or negative infinity. Okay, so now I'm erasing this. Don't forget you can press pause, right, to make sure that you're taking it down. But what's important to realize is that in both of these graphs, even if I just erase them, in both of these graphs you have a vertical asymptote, okay? So uh, both f of x and g of x uh, have, so that is something they have in common.
And this leads us to define what a vertical asymptote is. So definition. Uh, the, a function has a vertical asymptote at, uh, and of course, uh, we have an acronym, we will say VA, at x equals A, if F has at least one one-sided infinite limit. Okay, so, okay, we just defined actually vertical asymptote, so let's just underline this. And uh, the definition is, it's going to be the case if f has at least one one-sided infinite limit. So, actually, uh, I will tell you there is four possibilities. Okay, you could have that the limit as x is approaching a from below of f of x is infinity. You could have that the limit as x is approaching a from above of f of x uh, from below, actually, there you go, uh, is equal to negative infinity. But you could also have the same uh, behavior from above. Or the limit as x is approaching a from above of f of x is equal to negative infinity. Okay, so these are the four possibilities. All right, so in the next video, we will see how to find vertical asymptotes and how to take the limits. So in an asymptote, when we have an asymptote, uh, two things could happen. Either the limits match, the one-sided limits match, or they don't. Okay, if they match, then the limit is either infinity if they both blow up or is negative infinity if they both sink down. However, the limit will fail to exist if these two limits, even if they're infinite, will not match. So we will learn how to compute that algebraically. Okay, so see you in that video.